Alright guys, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be going over what this plat player can do to get himself into the diamond ranks. He's plat 3 in 3v3s, and a lot of you guys are having the same problems as this man right here. So, we're going to go over some of the mistakes he's making, and we're going to see what he can do to improve to that diamond rank. I hope a lot of you guys understand that I appreciate all of your support. And I have a hundred key giveaway going on right now in the discord below make sure you join get your chance at that on hundred keys And I appreciate everyone's support and I hope you guys enjoy the video All right guys uh, today we got uh, I forget or chief and he's plat three and three threes and he's looking to climb to that diamond rank uh, we're gonna be looking at his player view and I don't know if this is a glitch, but he seems really far out in his camera settings. So I'm very curious to see what his camera settings are. Um, but so far, so good. Uh, this is a good cut right there to come in. Uh, good, a good hit. He could have followed that a little bit faster and got a touch off that wall, but it actually looks out a uh, pretty good follow. Um, all around pretty good so far. Unfortunate bump in the middle that turned out to be good. Um, like I said, though, these camera settings, you are really far out. I would zoom in a little bit on your camera settings or take a look at the pro camera settings in one of my videos. Um, really good solo play there, though. Um, way to take advantage of the situation. Uh, it looks like you're going to go right side here. Um, I don't. You missed that boost, which is unfortunate. Everyone missed your boost, obviously. Um, you catch this ball. Kind of looks like you have a small little dribble going on right now. Almost made a play around that guy. Uh, you're heading back over. This is pretty good rotation right now. You're kind of staying away from your teammates that are all cornered up in that corner. Um, or huddled up in that corner, rather. Uh, it's a good clear there. You can turn, hit. Nice shot. And that's a fast 3-0 start from you. Uh, honestly, this isn't looking really like plat gameplay to me. This is looking like diamond gameplay. So, really good so far. Um, right here, you're going to want to push that fast. Don't stop. So right there, you could have you could have got a better 50, but it didn't work out too bad. Um, and you're coming middle or across right here, which is good. Uh, looks like he has a good challenge. You're kind of staying back. This is good. You can charge that fast. Uh, you probably could have got a better 50, but that's not a big deal. You'll get that after time of playing. Right there, it's not a bad hit. I don't know how you got that pound, but it's pretty good. Um, he kind of beat you there. You could have saw... Let's go back and look at this. So right here, you make a good play. You come down for this. You have the boost. You can kind of tell he's going to jump back up for this and beat you. Uh, there's not real point in jumping here. Um, you know he's going to hit it nowhere because he's coming from the right side midfield to hit it into your corner, which is pretty useless hit overall. As you can see, like they have a guy in their corner and a guy in the other corner. So really, this is not even going to be a pass, if anything. Um, so... Don't challenge that. Uh, it's kind of hard to realize that. Um, you'll 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 start getting faster at faster at reading um, the opponent, the higher rank you get. But uh, right there is just kind of a rough challenge. Not really worth doing. It didn't really cost you anything, but in the future it might. So good rotation here to come back, kind of to mid back post. Uh, you knew there was no threat, so you came to back to front post, which is good. Um, you're kind of rotating around, which is good. Uh, he misses a pretty good hit. You got a lot of power, as in that's what I mean by a pretty good hit. But it could have been better, and I'm going to show you what you could have done here. And I'm pretty sure you probably will notice this as well. As you, Right here, uh, you saw Slinger Row um, kind of miss there, right? Like kind of a rough miss. But you can actually make uh, something out of this um, by hitting a nice soft hit to him. You see you know, two of the blue guys up on your wall, on your back wall. You see one kind of falling into your net. You could easily, you know, hit this one soft or hit this one like kind of a lob pass to Slinger Boy or Slinger Row 14. Um, but it looks like you almost kind of tried um, or you kind of just tried for a big hit. Either way, uh, it wasn't really a pass and it could have been. Um, but he just gets kind of an easy stop. Uh, looks like you're going to head back here. Make sure you're picking up boost pads on the way back. Let's take a look right here. I don't think you were for a second. So right here, you're on your way back. You have 12 boost. You could easily hit this one on the left. You do. Good. And you could have hit that one. Not a big deal that you missed two there, though. 
Um, I don't know if you noticed that or realized that. Let's take a look. You hit this one. And on the way back, you hit this first one. Right? But right here, you're missing this middle boost. And you miss that boost right there on the bottom right of the screen as well. So you... Or is that the same one? I don't know if I'm going crazy or not, but... Basically, you missed a few boost pads, um, and you could have had a few more boosts on you, and that kind of helps for the future. But, um, And then let's look here. This kind of looked like a rough situation. So right here, I wouldn't challenge this. Uh, I would wait for whatever's happening over there to happen. Uh, you really don't gain anything out of going for this ball. Um, you can kind of tell that Slinger Row is going to go for the ball you know, in a second anyway, and really there's going to probably 50 or something. So there's really no point in going for this ball. You're at best going to hit it against that wall really soft, it looks like, because you're already flying. Um, and you do miss, which isn't a big deal, just because of how useless the hit was going to be in the first place. Um, but Slinger Row takes it and tries to do something with it. You take boost. This is good. Rotating back. Uh, way to go back post here. This is really good. I'm hoping you don't steal this boost right here. Uh, there's no reason to take it right now. And so you do you do replenish your 91 boost uh, right there with a full boost pad. So that is a little bit rough. You want to leave those for your teammates on your side of the field unless you can see one of the blue guys are coming for it, which in this case they really weren't there yet. So I would leave that boost for your team. Um, and right here, I'm pretty sure you probably just saw what, what you were doing wrong here. Is you came back post. Um, and you can kind of tell that there's nobody on that left side of you that's going to shoot this ball, right? Like, you can kind of see there's nobody over there. The guy is way on the other side of the field. Um, so he's not going to be able to shoot that ball, right? And you know endangerment is not going to do anything dangerous with that that hit middle. Uh, and you see depressed name is also probably going to be up for this ball. So really, you shouldn't be jumping here. Um, you kind of double commit. It turns out to not be that big of a deal because Slinger Rogue gets kind of a nice double challenge that kind of pays off for him. Um, you might have a chance at that ball. And one one thing I'd like to see you do here is, although this might be a pass to you, it might not, press, uh, you know, your camera view and change it a little bit or, like, move it around to see where your teammate is. Because you come up all the way up here without looking around to see where your teammate is. So you have no idea if he's back or if he's cheating up really hard on your left side right here. Uh, according to your view, you have no idea. So you need to... Uh, Make sure you're taking advantage of your rotating camera view and just kind of check or um, go off ball cam for a second and kind of make sure you can see where your teammate's at so you can uh, know whether this is your ball to go for or not. Because at this rank, you really don't know what your teammates are going to do. So having the awareness is a big, big play, a uh, big factor here in ranking up. Um, definitely if you're solo queuing. I don't know if you are or not, but awareness becomes huge, huge, huge later on. So... Get that, get that camera awareness and take the chance to look over uh, to middle to see if you have a teammate there before you make the decision to jump. Because right here, uh, as you can tell, you do guys, you both double commit, um, which is really rough because Slinger Row came off the backboard, I believe, for that pass. So that really puts three of you out of the way, kind of a triple commit situation. This should be a goal. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, kind of a rough situation. And there again, I think you double committed here thinking that he had a shot. But let's take a look. So you came back post. This is a great rotation, by the way. I, I'd say the best thing you're doing right now is, honestly, your mechanics are better in plat. Uh, from what I can tell, your mechanics are definitely better in plat. And your rotations are better in plat. So I think you're a diamond player in those aspects for sure. Um, you're rotating back post, which is great. So right here, though, you kind of, I mean, you got to be able to tell that Slinger Row has this block. There's no, nothing, no way he misses this, right? Like, let's be honest. I mean, maybe even silver players are hitting that block, you know. So he's got that. You kind of wasted a double commit there. Um, this isn't a big deal right there. That cut wasn't huge. Um, it did cause a double commit, but it wasn't absolutely huge. Um, and you're kind of just checking the ball out right now. So you know what I'd like you to see you do is use that awareness, use that camera angle to see where your teammate is um, in front of you. Like if he's in net, if he's back in net, you should go for this ball and cut it off. But if he's coming for the challenge, obviously you leave it for him. So I'd like to see you check and see where your teammate is. Let's go to fly real quick and see what you would have saw. Uh, so you would have saw that he's not coming. So let's go back a little bit. 
Here you would have... Okay, so you double committed a little bit. Not a big deal, though, because you're going to come back. Right here, you would have saw Slinger Row is also heading back. So you need to challenge this ball because you're kind of leaving it wide open. Uh, keep pressure here and touch that ball. As soon as you backed off, you gave him a free shot opportunity. Um, and you kind of tried to do a fa like kind of a half challenge there. It wasn't that great of a challenge, though. So I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. You got to get you got to get in there right away once you see nobody's back on defense. And let's just see how this plays out. Uh, they kind of tried a double commit shot there. It didn't really work out for him. So not a big deal. Um, your back post, you kind of drifted back and get in a better position. That's good. They send two. So it's a two-on-one situation if you get up there with them. Uh, and then another time, honestly, I would rotate that camera and just check what your teammates do in awareness here. Uh, use your cameras to your advantage to see where your teammate is. Looks like he was there, though, so it did pay off. Um, okay, another thing right here. It is so cute, so um, I understand that you just probably weren't aware of what's happening here, but you had 55 boost, right? So do you really need that full boost pad right here that you just picked up? Uh, you could have easily left that for Slinger, and it looked like he was going to go for it, but it looked like you were going to take it, so he just probably just left it for you. Uh, you don't need that. You have 55 boost, so you're good to go. Um, you have you had a good attempt there at um, picking up boost pads on the way, so you didn't really need that 100 boost instead of stealing it from Slinger. Uh, Slinger could have turned here and kept pressure as well with you guys, so now he's forced to go all the way back to get boost. Um, and let's see this hit. Uh, I'm assuming this isn't what you tried to do, as it was just a soft touch to the middle. Um, let's take a look at this one. So this is actually what you want right here. This is a beautiful hit for you. Um, you can do two things. You can either shoot in the top right corner or you can pass it left side to depress name. Um, depress name is heading back, so it would be a rough situation if you passed and he didn't actually turn for you. So I understand the attempt here at probably trying to shoot. I don't know if this was an attempted shot or not. Uh, or you could have passed it off the back wall to yourself as well. So if you couldn't get the shot, you can pass it off the wall to yourself for a fast shot. So... That basically was obviously not the hit you wanted. I, I can tell it probably was a mechanical mistake over anything else. Um, you're heading back here, which is good. You're picking up some boost pads on the way, which is also good. Uh, you could have picked up a couple more there as as you did just kind of trot by a few of them, and you probably realized that by watching that. But uh, good block there, good speed. Um, way to be patient there and wait for your teammate and then kind of strike last second to make sure you had it. It's fine. Not a big problem with those double commits um you should actually you know what waiting here is actually a good decision because he's playing it slow and you saw that your teammate uh let's go back to this and let's go over what you did right here so you actually see they have a kind of a fast break here they got a guy uh, with the ball and they got a guy little beast is pushing the uh, right side um and he's going for a pass he's looking for a pass and you have slinger row kind of pushing back really fast which is Good recovery from him. He's actually playing pretty good from what I can tell. So right here, you waited a good amount of time to get Slinger Rose some time to get back. And then you look like you go for a challenge, which is perfect time for this challenge, by the way. Very good job. And you do get the block, so you don't need Slinger behind you anyway. But uh, very good patience there. Uh, usually you do want to go right away, but you kind of played that perfectly in a 1v2 situation. Um, let's see. Right here, you're kind of chasing the ball a lot, um, but it's okay that time around. Um, I do this. I used to do this all the time. I still do it occasionally, but let's see what you did here. Right here, you pass the ball up, right? You can tell that this next ball is not your hit. Um, it's between Slinger and Captain, right? So you flipping up right there was very dangerous. Um, you have zero boost, and you just flipped up to a ball that you didn't know uh, what was going to happen to it yet. So now you are overcommitted, um, and your team is in a looks like a 3v1 situation. So this could easily be a goal for the other team. Uh, let's take a look as you're kind of flipping back into the ball side, which you want to rotate uh, away from the ball side. So let's see if you end up doing that. No, but you do kind of chase back all the way to front post. You do want to rotate back to back post and pick up as many boost pads as possible on the way back. So it's not a big deal here. Um, it doesn't look like it might. Uh, so you can tell that, you know, that could have been a goal. And that's partially because you put yourself in a rough situation. Um by putting yourself out of position right here by flipping forward with zero boost and then coming back straight ball side and putting yourself right in front of the net with a rough situation with only 23 boost uh, by not picking up boost pads and going back post.
um, you kind of flip away from the ball, which is actually a good reaction. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but you actually stop yourself from putting that ball in, so good reaction time. Uh, like I said, your mechanics and your rotations are pretty pretty good for plat. I, I mean, I would say they're diamond level for sure. So uh, right here, you can strike on that. So you just took a while there. You hesitated. Um, you can see right here, you kind of rotated left and Slinger Rook rotated middle. Not a big deal. You saw him pushing middle, so you probably start pushing left. But right here, you could have went um, right away. You could have used all your boost, and you could have easily beat him to it. Uh, but you got beat because you kind of hesitated on it. Uh, you didn't know if it was the right decision. So you're heading back now. Um, he gets a good 50. You turn. This is a good idea to turn. And that's a good pop middle. Uh, Slinger should be on that ball. He's a little slow, but he's got a good hit for middle. Uh, almost puts it in. You tried to cheat up on it, which was a good cheat up. You just unlucky how close you were to the ball. Um, you have zero boost right now. Uh, okay, so based on the camera settings I, I can see or the camera angle I was looking at, uh, there's no reason to jump here. You can see Slinger has that hit. I don't know if you just didn't have the awareness yet again because awareness is, like well, like I said earlier, is one of the most important uh, uh, skills uh, for sure in Rocket League. So make sure you're looking around with your camera because right here you kind of caused a double commit. Um, that was no real reason to you know double jump out of the way like that. Um, and it causes a goal. So just use your awareness there. Use your camera's uh, angles and look around. Make sure you know what your teammates are doing, where, where, where they're going. And um, make sure you don't, uh, well, I don't know if you just realized what you did. This will get you a lot of hate in the future. Um, so you got to be aware of this. You have 86 boost, right? You have 92 now, right? Because you just picked that boost pad up. Great job on the boost pad pickup. You hit this ball. Um, it's an okay ball. It's to the side. It's not, you know, straight middle for you to make a play, but it's not bad at all. And you run straight over that boost. Notice how you go from 64 to 99. You didn't need that. Uh, you actually just completely took that from your depressed name teammate right here. So he's got nothing, and he has to head, he has to head all the way back. He can't just quickly turn around to see if he can get your pass, right? So you really instantly took this uh, opportunity of a passing play uh, away by doing that. So... He's all the way back, as you can tell. So they're just going to get a free passing play here. Uh, Beast pushed it up instead of taking advantage of the situation and taking time. But, uh, yeah, right there, you just need to make sure you're not stealing boost pads. It looks like you're kind of stealing your teammates' boost pads a lot. Um, this could be good. You just wait. This is good to wait there. Uh, looks like he's trying to pass. You're kind of just circling, which is fine. You get bumped. Heading back, back post. Way to let that go. You weren't going to do anything with it. And that should be the game. Well, it's staying up a little bit. But, uh, Chief, you said, Your backstory is I've been playing on PS4 since Season 3 without breaking plat and had a buddy uh, point out that your screen lags pretty hard and you switched over to Steam and now you're on the champ doorstep two weeks later. So, yeah, the uh, situation uh, seems to have gotten better for you by making the switch to Steam and getting better frames. So congratulations on that. Uh, I'm assuming you reached Diamond if you're on Champ's doorstep, but this is some Plat 3 gameplay, uh, of 3v3 gameplay. Um, and this is kind of going over the reasons why you were Plat at this point in time. And I hope you um, understand that it comes down a little bit to your awareness, your camera angles, and checking around to see where your teammates are. And that'll also help your stealing boost. So you're probably not realizing that you're stealing all this boost from your team, uh, causing your team to you know head back and not be ready for your passes, not be in position. If you were um, getting better at your awareness, you're going to instantly get better uh, results in these games. You're going to come up with a lot more wins and a lot better teammates, probably just from the fact of you not taking their boost and understanding where they are on the map. So... Uh, really great gameplay for Plat 3, though. I can understand why you're probably diamond and reaching that champ level about by now. So I understand that uh, this was a good win, 3-1. So uh, good gameplay overall. And I hope you guys liked the video today. And subscribe below. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to